am currently on site in a hotel for this week's Trans Youth Channel subject, trans traveling. Now trans traveling is often like a very questionable thing because you end up with those people who end up getting caught in an airport and like a whole bunch of problems regarding their physical papers and their passports and everything. And then you end up with those people who are like, I had no problem. I am the latter of the two. I currently just made a trip, actually this week coincidentally, to Salt Lake City, Utah from Cheyenne, Wyoming. And I gotta say I had no problems. I flew in from DIA, Denver International Airport, to Salt Lake City and the only problem I think I had wasn't even a problem at all. All the people handled it very professionally and everything just went down without a hitch and it was actually very unexpected. I was actually kind of more defensive than people even needed or intended, but you know, things just went pretty dang well. Basically what happened was I ended up coming into the airport via Green Ride, which is like a shuttle type of thing, an airport shuttle, and had no problems there, got to DIA, went through the security check, and I set off the detector, and I'm like, okay, here we go. Here we go. So they had me set off to the side, and then they basically put me into this large, like, specific metal detector thing that kind of, like, x-rayed belongings and stuff like that, and told the people where the metal object was on my body and when I went through like it registered this portion right here and I'm like there's not even anything there basically it hit where my bra strap is so the person just comes in quick sweeps the th there and we're done like I was expecting them to do a full sweep and that would not have been comfortable in any way shape or form but they actually just checked the arm, which is good. I am currently in Salt Lake City and I will be coming back on Monday. So more info there on what happens, what's going to happen, and where everything is going to be. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm really enjoying my time in Salt Lake City and everything like that, but I won't be able to upload this video until I get back. So I'm probably going to put both of those into there. If there is a problem, I will definitely pull out the camera and then start snapping it, I guess. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And thank you guys. This is Trends Youth Channel, and feel free to give us your messages. We kind of need them. We're now switching to a weekly list that we are adding on to so that we have a back like a backlog of videos for weeks and weeks and weeks. That way we won't actually end up losing videos. We had to regroup and everything and I'm not too sure what Kit's doing because I can't do videos on Thursdays. I'll probably still be doing them on Sundays or switching with one to do them during the week. Uh, that's pretty much it and thanks guys. Bye. Hey guys, uh, this is probably a terrible shot. There's like nowhere to put the camera, so I'm currently like holding it and like doing all this stuff, and it's a really weird angle or whatever. But I basically wanted to inform you, I just went. I'm in an airport right now. I just went through it and had absolutely no problems in any way, shape, or form. And it was actually a lot better of an experience than DIA. Uh, I gotta say that for the most part, um, everyone's been pretty cool with it. I didn't even have any problems with my ID. No one furled their brow or did anything like that. Um, I do have one problem in that this airport is actually really small and doesn't even have really anything in it, so it took me like 15 minutes to get to the Carmack, and I'm two hours early, so I get to just wait here forever. But you guys don't have to wait with me, so jerks. Uh, that's pretty much it, and I will see you guys later. Bye.